How y'all doing this afternoon? I tell y'all what, I've been preparing today. Went to the grocery store, got all kind of good ingredients and everything. We're gonna do a jambalaya tonight. Oh yeah, we gonna we gonna get something going here. I was at work last week and got to talking to one of old guys up there. Now, Mr. Young, as they call him, he may be one heck of a salesman, good salesman. He may be the AKA credit doctor. He can get in there and get somebody financed, but I tell you what, he talking to the wrong guy. He thinks he's gonna beat me in a Cajun cooking contest, but we'll see. He said his specialty is the jambalaya. He says he makes some like none other. So, I'm gonna accept this challenge. I'm gonna try to make up a big old pot of jambalaya tonight. And we're gonna see how it is come Monday morning. We're gonna put them together and we're gonna have this little contest. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started now. I've got some chicken thighs laying out. I already peeled some shrimp earlier. Got some sausage. Got some a roast chicken, actually, we may throw in there. We're going to get some good stuff, y'all, and we're going to get this party started. Get it going right with this jambalaya, y'all. We're going to show this old Sean and see what's going on now. So first things first, I got these chicken thighs here, right? What I'm going to do, and they really don't need it, but just to help it stick and put a little bit of oil on the skin here. Now, a lot of people will use boneless skinless. I've done that before, but like I said, we want some serious flavor on this one tonight. Pretty sure old Mr. Young uses probably just some chicken breast tenders or something. That's not all. That ain't how it's done. You got to get these chicken thighs going here too. Spread some of that good little oil there on the on the skin. That's going to help it to crisp up. I got some of this Bezels. It's good Cajun seasoning, y'all. And we're going to sprinkle that heavy on there. And that's that's going. I mean, that's going to season them up. And I'm also going to sprinkle that on the underside here, y'all. We want to get plenty of seasoning on this yard bird. Because this yard bird is going to help to season the whole dish, right? So we're going to go ahead and put that, that bezels on there. I don't even know if y'all could see me doing that one. Hold on just a second. So I'm also going to come back with a little bit of this garlic. This is just garlic powder. It's going to help to season this bird too. They said we're going to highly season this good bird. It's going to make a lot of difference in the, in the dish. Get the bees in on there, put the little garlic powder. Anyway, let me get all these, these birds seasoned. Oh, last but not least, I got some of this bees It's a their barbecue rub seasoning. Just to give it a nice little kick, a little bit of sweetness. I'm gonna sprinkle that just on the skin there. We'll have that on there as well. Put y'all in, I got everything all bees up, as I like to call it. Throw them in the oven on 350 until that skin gets nice and crisp and they get done. All right, y'all, now while that chicken's cooking, I'm going to go on with this good country please and I'll do his sausage. And I will say one thing for Mr. Young, you know, he did talk about one thing that I've kind of done is bust up some of the sausage, a lot of sausage in little bitty pieces. So instead of just having a coin here and there, you get a piece of sausage in every bite. And I think that's a good idea, but that's what we're going to do with some of this on do it, is we're going to take it and we're going to, just chop it like that, you know, down the middle, right? Oh yeah, right there. And then we're gonna take it like this and we'll just kind of quarter it. And we'll just cut little strips. And when you do that, it makes it a lot easier to cut in little bitty pieces. And once we get in those little pieces, we'll saute those up. Let me show you real quick. Trying to cut small strips as I can, and I got room for it here. All right, and see, so we turn it around like that, right? And you just boom, boom, boom. And you got those little, little quarters like that, and that way you can get some in every bite. Anyway, I'm busting stuff like that. 
So we'll move it over to the Dutch oven now and put this andouille sausage in here and we're just going to saute it down. Now if this andouille has had a chance to crisp up, I'm going to get it out of here. So I strained it off, got out and set in a bowl and let this sit out to the side. Sausage that I cut into coins, turn this back up here and we'll put this in here. Do the same thing with that. And it's actually, I did a little bit of undo, but this is the Cajun sausage here. Cajun smoked sausage by Country Pleasing as well. That's some good stuff. Now I've browned up all the sausage that y'all can see like that. That's good when we set inside. I just pulled that chicken out of the oven. We had bacon. It's not quite done. What we're going to do, since we've got this nice sausage all here and everything, we'll give this a little kiss of this. With that sausage, oh yeah, definitely a lot of flavor. Look how crisp that skin and everything on that chicken. And for about 40 minutes of time, let them go a minute or so on each side, then we'll finish them off bacon. That's going to have some great flavor in that. See how it really just crisps up the top of that skin? Yeah, it's some really good flavor. I let it go about a minute on that side, let it go about a minute on this side. That's just going to have some real good flavor that chicken. All right, so I got the chicken out, y'all. Put it back on the baking sheet, which I'm gonna take that and throw it back in the oven. Let it finish cooking. I just want to give it a kiss of that good sausage flavor right there. So let that go. We'll get rid of some of this grease, y'all. I drain a lot of that oil off there. I'm gonna turn this exhaust down now. And we got some bell pepper, celery, onion. Really good trendy there. Good stuff. We're going to just saute it on down here in this pan. And we'll just get all those that good little bits of that oil and that, that wonderful flavor and that chicken and that sausage left in the bottom of the pan. And now that's had kind of a chance to cook down. I've got some fire roasted diced tomatoes with a little bit of garlic in them. The can will stir that in there. So keep this on low and slow. And this is going to make a wonderful base. That vegetable base. Good sauce here. Alright, so, I'm going to add some seasoning to this here. I've got some of this paprika. Good stuff here. We'll add, and y'all, I'm not going to be using any big measurements and stuff like that, except for the water and the rice. That looks to me about like a tablespoon. A little bit more of the paprika. That's going to give it a lot of good color and flavor. Okay, then we're going to come back to the bezels. We're going to bezel this a little bit. I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so of it in there. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Now i got some garlic powder. Pour some garlic powder in there. I'm not going to really measure that. Just enough about like that. We're going to just stir all this in. We're going to season this. We're just going to let this mixture here Go low and slow and just simmer for a little bit to cook down and get those tomatoes nice and sweet. After about, I don't know, it's been about 30 minutes or so, just on low. Cooks a lot of the water out of that, and that's good. We'll take some tomato paste, take a big old heaping tablespoon, about half there like that, and we'll stir that into here. So we'll give some good rich tomato flavor, y'all. stuff there. Got the tomato paste. I mean man this is this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna take some cracked black too. I'm gonna go in here put some good little amount of cracked black just to give it some nice nice flavor in there as well. A deep flavor profile here. We'll season as we go. May add a little bit more of that tomato base. That's it, y'all. Turn it down to low, low, and let this simmer. Just keep stirring it. Y'all, let's start to put this competition jambalaya together now. We got all the components ready. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn my heat back on. See, we've got this good tomato base here with the seasoning. That, that's, that's just what we want there. I'm going to put 
To that, I'm going to add the chicken. This is chicken breast here. Uh, then I had a roasted chicken that kind of tore it apart. Here's those chicken thighs that we roasted off in the oven. And then we kind of gave my pan fry there with the oil from the sausage. Stir this in. So just like that. Look at that, y'all. Get that coating of all that tomato and that good seasoning on that chicken. I'm going to go with this sausage here. And roll that on, do we? Everything like that. Look at that. Look at some of that good oil in there. I'm going to stir this in. It's going to be one heck of a pot. Here in Malaya, y'all. Now I'm gonna add about three cups of chicken stock to the mix here. Okay, about three cups of stock. Let's stir that in. What I'm doing is I'm stirring in this chicken stock. And that is what's going. And that's what's going to do it right there, y'all. It's going to be so good. We're going to bring this to a bowl, all right? As soon as we bring this to a bowl, we'll add the rice. I'm going to add two cups of rice to this. As this comes to a bowl, I'm going to add a couple of final touches of season. I'm going to add a little bit more of the bezels. Because the bezels is not too salty, not too spicy. Good stuff there. A little bit more of the, uh, the garlic powder. Because okay. we're going to put this rice in. That rice is going to want to soak up a lot of flavor, y'all. Really like to put in something like this. Ooh, Old Bay would be nice in here, too, y'all. Let's go to the Old Bay. Got our seafood going on. Something like that. Let's see here. Stuff is down here it's so humid man it's really there you go put on old bay that should be about enough seasoning because I mean you've got a lot of seasoning on this sausage and all this good stuff we put in here so that's what we're looking at there let's kind of come to a boil so I'm gonna have my two cups of rice a really good long grain of rice y'all you gotta have We'll stir that in there good, good. We'll throw that rice in there so it gets all that good moisture. And stuff like that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Get nice and coated. That rice in there. Turn the heat on down. I've got some nice Gulf shrimp. They were so big, I had to cut them a couple little pieces. I just, oh man, I almost left a couple of them in there, man. You don't want that. So, stir these beautiful gold shrimp in there. Just to get them mixed in. You don't want them gold shrimp to overcook. They'll cook plenty. Fishing this like, like it is here, y'all. I'm telling you. Push them on down in there. Gorgeous. Yeah, I'm gonna put the lid on this dude. I'm gonna sit. I like simmering them. Simmer for about 25 minutes. I like simmer mine in the oven. With the oven like 350. Here we go, y'all. We want to open that thing up for about 20 or 25 minutes. All right, y'all. I've been in the oven for about 30 minutes on 350. I'm gonna let it sit out here off the heat before I even open the lid for about 10 minutes. Just get everything set. All right, after I've let it sit for about 10 minutes, let's open it up and see what we got, y'all. Oh wow, look at that wonderful jambalaya, look at that, oh yes sir, yes sir, so you don't want to stir a jambalaya, even after it's done, you just want to kind of turn it like that, that is beautiful stuff right there y'all, we're going to give it a try, alright let's give this a try, Yes, sir. Get some of that sausage. A little piece of that shrimp. 
Yes, sir. Rice too. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. 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 Dave, Mr. Young, you better watch out. Let's jump a lie coming right to the morning. Oh yeah, some good stuff, y'all.